What's going on YouTube? It's Dab back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about some new projects that I have my eye on, and I think you guys should check out for yourself. The projects that I talk about in this video are all based on my personal opinion and what I see inside of the market that I think will do well during this time. Obviously, everyone has their own opinions and some of these projects may not do the best. So always make sure you are able to make your own decision when investing into projects and don't just invest in them because I say so. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Always make sure to do your own research before purchasing anything. And let's get right into it. Real quick, I'm going to go over the Dune Analytics with you guys. Uh, recently, we saw quite the blow off top in volume. And now we've been hanging around the 70 million mark in volume per day, uh, which isn't terrible, but obviously nothing too great compared to what we were seeing uh, last week during the 100 plus million days. Um, so definitely be very careful and weary when you're investing right now because we could 100% go lower than this uh, and we could definitely head straight back into a bear market and we kind of already are uh, but at the same time there are some projects that are popping off definitely just be careful and I recommend staying mostly liquid but it's completely up to you of course if you'd like to stay more liquid or be more invested in NFTs but in my personal opinion I think the safer route is staying more liquid and uh, being able to invest in those blue chips when they go on discount during these lower times and that's about it for the uh, Dune analytics volume. The first project that I want to talk to you guys about is called Dreamy. This project popped up on my radar today and they are being powered by OX Studios. Dreamy does have some pretty cool artwork that stood out to me and I think this project does have a good amount of potential. They don't have many other sneak peeks besides this one so far uh, and they kind of just came out of nowhere with the announcement that they were partnering with OX Studios. I think for that project to start off with this announcement that they are partnering with OX Studios uh, makes me pretty bullish on the project as a whole just because OX Studios does have a very bullish track record of the projects that they have worked on previously and I'll go over the projects that OX Studios has worked on in the past and is currently working on at the moment uh, with you guys right now. So this is OX Studio. This Web3 uh, service provider has helped build three landers. They're helping build Ugly People, uh, Lonely Pop, which I've talked about in a previous video as well, um, Dreamy Now, and then Arkin. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that one, but those are the four that they are building currently. They are also launching an OG pass uh, with, I believe, a 1,000 supply. There will be a limit of one OG uh, pass per wallet, and the price will be 1.8 Ethereum. To be honest, I don't think it's the greatest investment to buy this pass uh, unless you're just very bullish on all four of these projects and you want to get whitelist for all of them. Uh, but in my opinion, you're kind of betting on a lot that all four of these projects are going to be able to make you a profit above 1.8 Ethereum. And also, you probably won't be able to make much profit off of this pass once these projects start launching. Uh, so you'll kind of just be holding a dead pass at that point um, in hopes that these projects are able to have a very successful launch and make you some pretty good profits. And I think Dreamy as a whole with their announcement that they're partnering with them is super bullish. I would definitely go ahead and follow them on Twitter. Make sure to turn on their notifications, uh, try and join their Discord whenever they post the links and go for their whitelist. The next project that I have for you guys is called Skaterbirds. Uh, this project popped up on my radar the other day. They're pretty new. Uh, they are growing at a pretty good rate so far. They do have some really cool artwork. Uh, and I believe their team is fully doxxed. The main person that stands out to me on the team is XI. He is the community manager for Kaiju Friends, so I do see this project growing quite substantially. He also does have 23,000 followers just about on Twitter, which is pretty good to see that they do have a big following and a good reputation inside of the space. But definitely one to keep your eye on. Make sure to follow them on Twitter uh, wait for their Discord links, try and get in their Discord and go for their whitelist as soon as you can. The next project that I want to talk to you guys about is called Cloud Machine. This one has been flying under the radar. Uh, it currently is at about 2,500 followers. Uh, the artwork on this is super sick. Um, definitely one to keep an eye on. I don't see the supply being super high just because I think this artwork is 
very unique and original. I don't see it being like a 10K profile picture project. I could see this probably being at like a maybe a 3000 ish range maximum. Uh, but the artist is pretty well known on Instagram. He's not very well known on Twitter, but he is doxxed and the artwork just really pops off and stands out to me. So definitely want to keep on your radar if you're interested in this type of art and make sure to follow them on Twitter and turn on the notifications. I'll keep you guys updated if I find more information on this project. Real quick though, this is the artist Dave. Uh, Dave does have his Twitter linked in the bio of the Cloud Machine project. Also, you can find his website and he does have his murals and portfolio on this website. You can go ahead and check out his art on the website. It all looks pretty cool to me. Uh, definitely is a very unique style of art that we haven't really seen too much of inside of the space. And I think this could do very well, um, depending on the mint price and supply, of course. Uh, he does also have 16.4K on Instagram, which is really good to see that uh, he's decently well known, at least on one of the social media platforms and does have a pretty solid fan base. Uh, so definitely make sure to keep an eye out for this one and go check him out for yourself. The next project that I want to talk to you guys about is called Lunar Project. Uh, this project just came out about two days ago and they just have a little sneak peek with a plane flying through the clouds uh, and it says open dow on the side and if you guys were around back when the sos token uh, was airdropped to everyone this was the creator of the sos token it's called the open dow uh, they did a massive airdrop for pretty much everyone inside of the nft space who made um, interactions with OpenSea or uh, metamask i believe and the creator of this is uh, nine by nine by nine, uh, which he kind of just went out of his way to create this uh, SOS token for the community. Um, so I do see this project doing pretty well. The artist is also pretty well known inside of the space. They do have 15.6K on Twitter, which is really good to see that it's a decently well known artist as well. Um, so definitely want to keep on your radar. There's not very much information on the project yet. Just these two sneak peeks. It could be uh, some sort of airdrop or some correlation to the SOS token, but I don't know as of yet. But I will keep you guys updated as I find out more information on this project and make sure to go follow them on Twitter and try and join their Discord if they do end up launching a Discord. Real quick, if you guys aren't already following me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me there at 0x underscore dab. I post daily content, I'm posting giveaways, uh, I post early projects, so any of these projects that you've seen in this video, I usually post a quote tweet of the projects um, whenever I find them, so if you guys wanna find these projects along with me, go ahead and follow me there with the notifications on, and you'll be able to find these projects whenever I do. That's all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like down below hit that subscribe button, leave a comment if you're excited for any of these new projects and if you have any other recommendations of what I should cover in my next video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of the support recently and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.